poor Ethan. He's had nothing but trouble lately. And now with the car accident. At least he doesn't have to worry about disposing of a corpse. Trust you to always put the worst tragedy in perspective. Well, we're here, aren't we? Trying to get information about his condition. Are we? Why didn't we call? Must you always look for ulterior motives? Oh, ye of little faith. There's your opportunity to get information about Ethan. You do all the talking. Why? Just do it. Hello. I'm a friend of Mr. Asher's. A colleague, actually, and mm -hmm. I was just wondering how he was doing. Well, his condition still listed as critical. He never regained consciousness after the crash. Oh, no, that's terrible. Uh, do you know what room he's in? Right here in intensive care. But, um, I'm afraid visitors aren't permitted. You'll have to call tomorrow and see. Oh, well, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you mind telling me what that was all about? It so happens the answer to our disposal problem lies in the basement of this very establishment. I knew it. With these keys and a little luck, we'll be able to unlock the age-old secret of the pharaohs. How to keep a corpse forever young. How the hell do we manage to lose them both? There's no excuse for that. Oh, it's a, it's a... Voila. Science comes to the rescue once again. The science of cryonics. We don't know how to work these. Piece of cake. Or for our purposes, consider it the icing on Sasha's cake. They look like torpedoes. Actually, the principle is not unlike that of a common thermos. Allow me to demonstrate. Basin, this is not an educational opportunity. I'm not in the mood to listen to a lecture about freezing bodies into some bizarre state of suspended animation until they, God forbid, resurrect themselves. Is this what you propose to do with Sasha? Oh, God, no. The last thing we want to do is bring her back. You have to admit, she couldn't be in a more bizarre state than she's already in. No, what I'm proposing is that we borrow a man dryer cylinder, since he certainly won't be needing it. How do you know that? He died two months ago. You mean he, he's in one of these things? No, of course not. He changed his mind several months earlier and uh, decided to be cremated and kept in an urn on the living room mantle. Mrs. Dreyer hadn't been home from his memorial service for five minutes before she poured dear old Theodore's remains out along with the bird seed into the planter in the backyard and took off for Miami Beach with her personal trainer. You make these stories up. I know it. Three points of light to illuminate the darkness. Number one, there definitely is a vacancy on the premises. Two, Sasha is not likely to be picky about where she stays. And three, we're dead ourselves if we don't get rid of her fast. Besides, Dreyer still owes me $10,000 in legal fees. I'll simply consider this the final payment. Great! Now we can add grand theft to everything else. Why on earth would he have them stored here? It beats me. I do know that he gave the hospital an enormous grant contingent on their installing them here. Guess he figured when he woke up he'd need immediate medical care. Who belongs to the other two? No idea. My peak. Mason, I, I hope you won't be too disappointed in me, but I, I do have serious reservations about this. This is perhaps the most ghoulish thing that we have done to date. Not ghoulish at all. It's high tech. What better place to store poor old Sasha's body? Should be kept on ice or liquid nitrogen if you want to split hairs, and it's got its own power supply. You've only answered half the problem. You see, where are we going to put it? We can't very well keep it here, and if we take it home with us, the same thing will happen that'll happen to the freezer. Now, the problem that we have is these tubes have windows that people can look through. Where are we going to hide it? One crisis at a time. Run back upstairs and put these on the nurse's cart before she misses them, all right? And then bring the van around to the side door. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to be trying to figure out which one of these belongs to the late Mr. Dreyer. Unless you care to join the hunt. Cozy. 
Let's hope the air conditioning works. 